Hello everyone, this is Southern Star 71. Today we'll be playing Lysara Summit Kingdom. It's a demo available on Steam. It goes into early access sometime this year. The only thing I've done so far is adjust the sound, which you don't hear right now, but you'll hear it soon. Without playing the game at all. So when we get into the game, it'll be my first time. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. You can leave comments or ask questions down below in the comments section. And do subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when a video goes live on the channel. We're trying to push for 500 subs so we can get the join button. And get some channel memberships. So here we go with the game. Hope I enjoy. Hope you enjoy. We click New Game. Welcome to Laysara. In this demo, you'll build a fully functioning settlement. This tutorial will guide you along the way. Let's start with going through basic controls. W A S N D. Do camera movement and mouse wheel zooms in and out. So if we W A S D. Okay. So we can move in and out and uh, W A S D. Yep. We'll continue. All right, it's time to start building your town. Let's start with placing a marketplace. It'll be a central point of your settlement or as it distributes goods among citizens living nearby. Build it here. Well, we're going to click here as the food. Food distribution marketplace needs eight workers, provides citizens with food and goods, transport resources to this building, and they will be distributed to houses in range. Okay. Let's build it right here. All right, it's, we did that. We're going to continue. See the red marker above the marketplace? I do. It means the building doesn't have a good connection to the mountain's entry point. Let's fix that by building some roads. You can remove any buildings, including roads, using the moss toll, which is probably that one. Let's see, the mountain entry point. So this is down here. So we need to... We're connected, okay. We now need... Cool. Good job, the marker above the marketplace has changed. The new one means the building likes a workforce. Well, let's bring some folks into our town then. Building houses increases the town's population. Let's place a few of them near the marketplace. After replacing the house, it becomes inhabited instantly by four citizens. Okay. We're going to put these little entrance hut on the road close to the marketplace. So we got eight. We need thirty-two. Can I rotate this? Or
No. Will it be? Seems like we should be able to rotate this. But it won't let me, so let's put it here. Okay. Continue from here. Great, let's continue developing our settlement by providing our citizens access to a mandala. Not sure what that is. Mandala, among many other buildings in Lysara, has a rage. That means it will only affect deep rock buildings, in this case, houses. Oh, it's like a church. Okay, it's important for their spirituality. Provide access to Mandala to 32 citizens. So we're going to go right here. Okay. So that works for all that. Now, great, you just filled a deed of your citizens. A little more about your folks needs. Let's bring up the house menu. Click on that house. Here you can see both the already fulfilled needs and still demanded needs or demanded ones. Needs are divided into three categories, food, prosperity, and enlightenment. This bar shows how many in which category of deeds you must fulfill to make your citizens willing to upgrade their house. Looks like the folks living here would like to get some food, which isn't really that surprising. Let's focus on that. So we have the mandala satisfied, but we don't have the food. We're going to close this. Eggs and Sampa. Let's start with producing some eggs. Build a chicken farm. And production will start. Make sure the chicken farm has the marketplace in its range. Well, we're just going to put it right here. Every production building can only transport its production output to a building in this range. Chicken farm is now producing eggs, but it's indicated by the icon. It's not sending them anywhere. Let's address that by clicking on the chicken farm and sending them to the marketplace. Oh, we'll send them to the marketplace. We've got that. So that's happening. We can close this here. Continue here. Great. Let's increase the food variety for our folks and start producing Stampa. Name barley field and a bill. A flower made from barley. Place a bill. Make sure it has our marketplace in range and supply it with barley from barley fields. A single mill is capable of handling production output from multiple barley fields. So I would think the bill needs to be close. But the, well, let's put down the bill first. It's in range. 
and now barley. We need the road. We need to build some roads. So let's get the road here in the middle. Okay. Now, can we stand? Yes. Okay. Our meal is receiving barley, but it's still not producing any sapa. It's because this building requires not only human workers, but also yaks. Hmm. To increase your town's yak population, you need to build a simple yak breeding. With protection up and running, you can start Sitting produce Sampa to the marketplace. Simple yak breeding works <clears throat> similarly to houses. They raise the yak population. Yaks for the design to workplaces automatically. So we need some simple yak breeding. Let's just put it here. I need workers. So we're gonna have to build some houses look like. Hmm. They want low address hut. Okay. Got it. Get some yaks as her sitting salt to the book. Got it. Okay. We now need great. Looks like your citizens are happy enough to upgrade their housing. Once the house can be upgraded, you can do that by clicking the button above it. We upgraded actually nine houses. Bridges. Nice job. It's becoming a little tight, isn't it? Try to expand to connect your town to the area on the left. We could use a bridge. You'll need to find a suitable spot on each side to place it. This is the bridge here. Click it. So that works. The bridge is there. The newly reached region will be a great place for the second residential area. Let's put another marketplace here. Use the bridge you have built to create a road connection. Workers from the first residential area can take jobs in other regions. The workforce pool is global across the whole mountain which the whole mountain is quite some size. So the main thing we need to road. 
It won't, so we're going to demolish that. Okay. Let's see if we can get in here. I don't think I'd squeeze here. I didn't do this correctly. So we'll go here with it, the road. Okay. This will work this way, I think. All right. So that's connected up that way. We need another marketplace. Here. <laughs> hey, what? We're going to road this first. Okay. We, okay, we have an operational marketplace in the second region. Okay. If you right click, you get rid of what you're building. For the new residential area, let's make things interesting and bring a second castle to the town. Your current Village houses lowlanders, folks versatile in the ways of nature and the land. Artisans, on the other hand, are crafty manufacturers and service workers. Each cast, not castle, each cast has slightly different levels or different needs. So use newly unlocked buildings to make your artisans happy and upgrade their houses. Needs the yak milk. We need the eight hours in the houses and upgrade them to level two. So the first thing, let's do what it says to do. So Food, prosperity. Enlightenment. Oh, my bad. Artisan houses. Let's go. So 
So we got eight to upgrade them. We need food, um, prosperity, cheese, salpa, eggs. We need a bath. Okay. A mandala. So we need a bath. That covers everything there. We now need Mandala. Okay. Need the milk. Filth filled. So I need the food. Hmm. Yak Shack. Need the road though to connect up. Okay. Put the milk here. Put the cheese to here. Then that should. Any category here. Okay. So we need either another mandala or bath or cheese. Hmm. I think we're going for another yak shack. Which we're going to need one road. Okay. The breed war yaks looks like. Should that not have gotten Aha? 
You get the million dollars, what I really need. Or, or like that, that wrong. They need salt and eggs. So to So we need a chicken farm. And in and bill. No, they're ready. We'll go ahead and upgrade these. So I didn't really need the extra mandala. But my artisan houses are upgraded. Now, great job. Now it's time to expand upwards and see what the mountain has to offer. Just like a bridge can connect two regions. On the same level, shafts can be used to climb higher. Hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to view the mountain from a distance. Oh, okay. Have an operating shaft to the yellowish region. So right here. So I need to really shaft. Green. Green. So we did a shaft. And now I need, I guess, road. No road. I need to put the road. There we go. It's working. Splendid. Now you have reached a region in the middle zone. Production output of some buildings depends on which zone they are placed in. This is shown in their tooltip like this. An example of a building working this way is Beekeeper. It produces significantly more resources if placed in the middle zone. Let's use that to our advantage. Have an operational beekeeper in the middle zone. So. Beekeeper. We've got one. So we just send it. Well. Let's continue. If we want to provide our people with honey, we need to find a way to transport it all the way down. Beekeeper can only send resources to nearby buildings, so we need a warehouse. Warehouse uh, stores resources and allows for 
send goods over long distances, not restricted by any range. A single warehouse can only store resources of one type. So we need to build a warehouse for the honey that we're getting. All right, so honey's going to the warehouse. Long distance transport. As I already mentioned, the warehouse can be used to transport resources over long distance. Warehouses don't have ranges. They use carriers instead. The more carriers assigned to transport route using the plus button, the more resources can be transported. Let's send honey down to your marketplaces to distribute to our folks. Carriers are recruited from unemployed artisans. Unlike production buildings, a single warehouse can send resources to multiple destinations. Send some money to both marketplaces. So. Okay. That's good. Okay. The other thing we gained access to by expanding higher our resource deposits. On these spots, we can build mines. Let's start mining copper and use it for copper utensil production. Mouse over a resource deposit to see a button for quickly placing mine. Start copper production, copper utensil production. We're going to build the copper mine. Well, going to try. We need a road. First. So I missed by one. To mosh this. Build here and then try to build the mine. Oh, maybe I did that. Let's demolish this road. I did that wrong. I was thinking wrong. Okay. 
put it here. Nope. Oh. Okay. Now. No road. So I need the road to connect. Okay. Put it here and here. To the bottom entry point. I need one more yak. So what we're going to do is put a yak greedy thing here. Produce goods without being transported anywhere. Let's try to send them. We want to build a warehouse first of all, I think. Copper utensil protection. So I've got the Okay. here. Okay. Not receiving input resources. So we need... Okay. So we just go from here instead to here. Now we can take the utensil and put a bit the market places. But first, great! Now you can build another warehouse to sit the copper utensils down and distribute them. So we're going to take these warehouse. Gonna we'll reset the storage. There we go. We send the utensils to here. And then from here down to here. We 
we're going to send half. That's fine. And then, ooh, this needs some honey. They want more honey, so we need a second bee. Okay. Upgrade 20 houses to level 3. Although I've not done all the tizzles yet. That should be good there. Now, we we'll to see what it takes to upgrade. We need cheese, textiles, and baths. Now we need cheese and textiles. Okay. So we need what did I build here? The egg shack. Okay, I need a warehouse so I need. and he wrote here. Okay. Now I need the
Okay. Did I need the warehouse to sent to here? So I need some workers. That's what I need. I just need low letters. Okay. Oh, okay. No cares they are assigned. Because they need 14 people. I really need more people. Okay. Now have enough people. I just need to get stuff figured out. <clears throat> need to. We need to get wool over to here. Okay. That should. Once that's connected up. Okay. Now we can upgrade these. We need more money, textiles, and copper utensils. So we need more honey.
need more copper utensils. And eat some textiles. So we need one more yak shack. Okay, we got milk and wool. We send the wool to here. So that marketplace is good. This marketplace is good. Okay. We still need to upgrade houses though. So I need Sampa. Take styles and baths. I'd rather just upgrade these we could. We need Sampa and textiles. Oh, we can. Well, Sampa and textiles. Yep. the road okay Not range. What? That was it range, but that was not interesting. So I tried to send to the wrong place. Not in range.
So I need a warehouse for barley and a warehouse for salpa. Okay. No road connection. I made the mistake. Okay. Just trying to get these to the where they can be upgraded. We need textiles. Okay. No road. So, what you do is build the road. Okay. Range. 
How is that possible? As close as they are. So... I need another bill. Since I sort of screwed that up. We need two yaks. I think I sort of mess up here. So close to being done with the tutorial. I really need to textiles. Yak Shack and a Weaver. I can't remember where the thing is. Hey, Yak Shack, where's that at? Yak Shack. There it is. Okay. If I just bring this down here and then do some roads. Okay.
So I need some more. Yak Sumi bread. So I messed up by not having the rows correctly. So what I need to do is I need to move this one spot. So with the other masala or mandala, I'm good. So oh, I'm missing some yaks. Yep, yeah, I knew that. So let's go. There we go. So that should give me the yaks I need. What are they here? First of all. Okay, this one needs the wool. So we'll send the wool right here. Okay. Now we're producing textiles. Okay. And now we can upgrade these. We need a touch more Sampa, a touch more copper utensils. So let's go ahead and do another mine. Need some yaks. Need three yaks. Okay. So we need copper tizzles and sampa. So now we just need a little bit of copper tizzles. Okay. Need the other copper utensil maker. It's what I need. So now if we go Nope. Here. 
me do this. That should. It was. I need one more. Need some extra honey to go here. Okay. We need a third beekeeper. That's what we need. There we go. And we now have enough of that. Okay. These are up to level three. They need cheese, though. We need one more level three. So I need a way to connect this up. So, let's just do this. going to work unfortunately so what we're going to have to do is do that that's enough to do that so we'll continue great job you have successfully built a thriving mountain settlement as a last thing in this demo let's take a very quick look at the avalanches Ooh. One way of dealing with them is to trigger them preemptively before they get too powerful. Hopefully it won't be too late. 
have operated the FLH inducer in the topmost region. All right. We're going to need a shaft here. Okay. Do we have to road, I guess? We need some yaks. So, what we'll do is we did it. We did it. Trigger an avalanche. There it goes. And there goes all our stuff right here. And that completes the demo for Laysara, the Summit Kingdom. Or Laysara Summit Kingdom. Of, uh... Thanks a lot for trying out the demo of Laysara Summit Kingdom. If you're not familiar with the core systems of the game, but well, Asari will have many more features when it launches in C early access later this year. Use more advanced transportation methods, production chains, and another cast monks to build epic towers over whole mountains, build barriers, plant trees, and use avalanche inducers properly to never see your towns buried in snow again. Raise a summit temple on the very peak as a symbolic act of conquering the elements before you move on to the next mountain. I did enjoy this. I look forward to it. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. You can leave comments or ask questions below in the comments section. And as always, sub to the channel, ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when a video goes live on the channel. I've been Southern Star 71. This has been Lysara Summit Kingdom. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. And goodbye.